Long before the Honors Fellowships uh, were created, the Charles Center has been the home of what we call the Departmental Honors Program, which gives students an opportunity to delve really deeply into a research subject of their choosing during their senior year, write it up in a thesis, and defend it orally. Um, so it's a whole life cycle of a year. And my predecessors in the Charles Center realized that there was a tremendous advantage to students getting a little bit of a head start on that process. And if they could work the summer before senior year and really have that full-time focus and devotion to their research, that gave them an outstanding jumpstart to the research and thesis writing process that they would carry out through their senior year. I, mean, I think all of our students have potential, but I think the, the goal, my purpose as a faculty, is to nurture and cultivate that potential that oftentimes they don't see in themselves. The formula for helping students succeed in all walks of life is providing them with information, providing them with structure, that's what teaching does, providing them with support and mentorship, that's what a mentor does, and then providing them with the financial means to be able to participate in those too. If any legs of that stool breaks, the student won't be able to get the experience that they need to be able to ultimately contribute to the world to make it a better place. I'm studying the genetics of pattern formation in plants, focusing on coloration patterns in flower petals. Coloration in flower petals is an obvious trait that can give us insights into how new uh, traits develop in the wild and also how we can begin to apply this to agricultural scenarios. The Honors Fellowship was critical. Without it, I wouldn't have been able to complete my Honors Thesis before I graduate. Yeah, I, it was really indispensable to give me the time and resources and mentorship that I needed to be able to effectively finish a long-term scientific project like this. My research concerns the early writings of the poet William Wordsworth, a British poet writing in the Romantic period, so the late 1700s, early 1800s, and I'm really interested in Wordsworth's respect for, for sound as an enabler of one's creative imagination when you're actively interpreting a poem, in particular his poems, right? And I think it's really important for understanding the way in which we see the world, or the way in which we hear the world. Maybe this is surprising given that I'm an English major and pursuing a, um, an honors fellowship in English, but I'm actually pre-med. So I've been following um, the pre-med track here at William & Mary. I'm a biochemistry minor, and right now I'm in the process of applying to medical school. But I think there's still a real connection between literature and medicine, particularly in the way in which people are able to connect with each other, communicate with each other, and I see there's a real application of what I've learned um, through my time here at William Mary as an English major to my future practice of medicine. The best part of my scholarship is really working with students and their ideas, so every student comes in with their unique perspective and has new research questions or has new takes on the way that I form my research questions. A vet is interested in studying mental health um, and looking at the different biases that people have um, in mental health when it applies to people of different marginalized communities. This is a social justice issue as well as a research issue. I have gone to conferences both on a state and national level that have allowed me to only share my ideas but also create a sort of fostering and multicultural, multilingual sort of environment in which we can bounce ideas off of each other as well as sort of contribute to the overall science that is in this field. And when it comes to sort of the social climates and also legislations in certain states, they pull from these sort of social studies, especially nowadays. So my research is on the music of Paul Montz. He's an American organist and composer. I'm also studying his relationship with the Lutheran churches in the United States in the 20th century. In the humanities, and especially in the performing arts, we're not often thought of as doing research because we don't and you know, do something that looks really cool in front of other people. Um, but rather we're spent in the archives and the library and, you know, purchasing books and materials and in my case also, you know, learning to play many, many different pieces. My research is looking at community health workers in Richmond, low-income neighborhoods, public housing communities, and what these community health workers are doing are helping people access 
resources for mental health care, substance abuse, and domestic violence. And it's really important because traditionally these are really taboo topics um, that people don't often look to access help for. So we're hoping to evaluate the effectiveness of these community health workers and how they're helping people access the care they need. I just feel like the professors who I've worked with go above and beyond to connect me to different resources and push my research to be better than it could be. Every gift has an impact because every gift contributes to a student being fully funded for that summer where they really get to devote that full time to this intensive investigation of research and in doing that they're bringing in all the tools that they've developed in the classroom but having to apply them which is a much more sophisticated form of learning than simply sitting in a classroom and parroting back things that you've heard and so in that way it becomes transformative for the student not only in the sense of oh they're producing this thesis this product but also in how it helps develop their mind and prepare them for their future career through the collective action of our donors Dozens of students get to have this experience that really is the best of what William & Mary has to offer.